Okay, welcome to uh, Coaster Image Design. Uh, this is tutorial 2A, and in this tutorial we are going to work with the circle we've already created in, in the previous tutorials, and we are going to bring an image in uh, to engrave onto our coaster. So here we go. Uh, first thing you want to do is head up here to Layers, and we're going to create a new layer. And we're going to call this layer, uh, well we currently have a base layer, uh, Coaster Design, I'm calling mine fix because I messed around with this one a bit. Let's add one. You might just have a uh, layer zero. Doesn't matter. Let's just add a layer and we'll give it a name. And this one's going to be called image or design or something like that. Push add. <clears throat> Sorry. Now you're going to head over to Google, which I will pull up from my other screen here. And you are going to look for an image that appeals to you. So I'm going to say, oh, let's go here. Maybe I want coasters with NHL logo or something like that. So I'm going to push enter. Then we're going to go up here to uh, images. And now, a whole bunch of NHL images. Uh, you need to know something about the laser. The laser works best on contrast. That means it works best when there are lights and darks. Okay. So let's keep these images pretty simple. So to simplify, like I, this would be too complicated. Not totally out of the question, but right now it kind of is. So uh, we are going to head up here to tools and we are going to make things simpler by going type and go clip art. In clip art you get simpler images. Um, many of these could work and well, let's see which one do I like. Hmm. Let's go with this one here. So I'm going to click on that. It gives me a preview. Now there's two ways to do this. I recommend let's download it. So we're going to right click because you could copy and paste but it doesn't always work. So I'm going to actually save the image as and then I have to choose my location. So my location would be my project folder which I'm keeping in my documents folder and then I have wood 1112 and now we're going to call this uh, NHL. Sure. And we'll hit save. Now I have my image. Now I'm going to head back to my Inkscape file and I'm going to go File, Import. And I've imported my image, so I have to go find it, which is here under uh, Documents. So Documents, there we are, and Wood 1112, and I should have this NHL PNG. So just double click it to, to load it and push OK to these defaults. All right, there we are. Now a few things right out of the gate. Uh, the first thing you want to do is change this image. If you zoom in on the image, you'll see that it's pixelated. And that's just the way the image is. But we can fix that in this program and make it nice and crisp and sharp for the laser. So what you're going to do is make sure you pick it. And if you've picked out here uh, and maybe even changed something, this is your pick tool in the upper left. We discussed that in the last video. So we're going to make sure that's on. Then we're going to pick it. And then we're going to go up to Path. And we are going to go Trace the Bitmap or Trace to Bitmap. and uh, you will get a little menu that comes up that looks like this. And it, the default usually works. If you want to see a live preview, you click here and the default works. Now, if your default's not working for you, because there's different ways to trace, uh, you could call me over and ask me for some tips. But let's just try this brightness cutoff at 0 0.450 threshold and push OK. Now, when you do that, it looks like nothing happened. But if you click once on your image and pull, you'll see we have two now. One is sharp, one is fuzzy. I want the sharp one, so I'm going to take my fuzzy one and delete it. I always have it in my saved folder if I need it. And that's what I'm going to work with. I'm done with my tracing bitmap, so I'll just push OK over here. Oh, not OK. I'll close. There we go. And next step, decide how big you would like this. Make sure that your aspect ratio here lock is on, so that locks the width and the height relationship. So we'll lock that, and then we can drag these corners and we won't be morphing it. If we'd forgotten to lock that, you know, you could do stuff like this, and that wouldn't work. So I'm going to hit Control Z and bring that back. So I'll put it back on. Now I'm going to put it in the middle, um, and if you want it, the program to figure out where middle is, you can go up here to Object and go to Arrange. Oh, sorry, align and distribute is the one I want. Align and distribute. And then you have different ways to align things. All you have to do is hold shift, pick two things, and you can align them on their centers like that. Or you can align them horizontally like this or vertically. Now, the last thing is 
have a look at it, a good look at it, and move it down a little bit because that's where I think it should be. Okay, so that's bringing in an image and uh, also converting that image so that it is a vector graphic. And the next one we're going to do is getting from Inkscape to the laser software. So that's it for now.